Let's now go program a charge controller and look at the settings that you want to make sure you program for your particular battery. All right, we're in front of the computer. We're going to now program the Victron charge controller. We're going to use Victron Connect. It is free software from Victron. I have that open here. In the local um, tab, we're going to see any Victron devices that we're connected to or connect to. Here I have the charge controller. We're going to click on it. For phones and Bluetooth devices, you're going to need to use the pin code. Default pin code is six zeros. If you've changed that to something else, then you're going to want to use that password. For the laptop I'm using here today, we're going to use a USB cord. That does not require a pin code because you're hardwired to the device. All right, here's the main overview screen for the charge controller. Kind of shows um, what we're currently producing, a kind of trend on how much we've done in the last 30 days. On the right here, we have voltage coming from the array, how much current we have from the solar panels, our battery voltage, amount of current we have going to the batteries. And up here on the top right, we have the gear. If we click on that, that's gonna open up settings. Here we have a few different options of places to go. Primarily, we're gonna to go to the battery tab we're gonna first want to make sure that the battery voltage that the Victron charge controller selected is the right voltage. Um, for today, we're, we have a 48 volt battery, so it's selected at 48 volts, so that's good. The max charge current, this is the amount of current that the charge controller can provide to the batteries. It's kind of the max value. So we wanna make sure that's kind of sized for the cables we have or the limitations on the, the amount of current that the battery can provide. Um, we're gonna next want to select a preset. Victron has a lot of already selected presets that we can select from. Lithium batteries is the last one, so scroll on down and select lithium batteries. This is a great starting point for programming the charge controller for lithium batteries. These Preset values aren't always the exact values you need for your battery. So make sure you check with your manufacturer of your batteries on what parameters they want you to program um, charging and discharging for. We're using Discover Lithium Batteries. They recommend charging to 56.8. So we have that set here. Um, float voltage, Discover recommends 54 volts. So we have that here. Lithium batteries we don't equalize, so it's disabled. You wanna make sure it's disabled for lithium batteries. Um, temperature current compensation is also disabled. We don't do that with lithium batteries. And most lithium batteries, we can't charge them when they're below freezing. So temperature, comp or temperature cutoff um, is, is key for that. Um, let's see. Um, that's pretty much all the settings that you have to set for charging Victron or charging with a Victron charge controller. Um, other features, um, not all charge controllers from Victron have, but some of them have a load output where we can turn on a load like at dusk, turn it off at dawn. Um, there's relays for just other features like when the batteries are full, you can turn on a load to shed excess solar, like in water or diversion load. Um, and then for, for some of the bigger charge controllers, they have uh, a display where we can kind of change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And that's pretty much all the settings we need to set for a Victron charge controller charging lithium batteries. All right, we just, went through programming a Victron charge controller on the laptop. Let's take a look at doing it with your phone. So let me get my phone here. All right, so I got Victron Connect already downloaded open. We're going to search for Bluetooth devices in the range of our phone here. And now look, we found the charge controller we have here today. It's a 250-100 right here. We're gonna click on that. First time pairing to it, it's going to kind of connect. It's gonna ask for a pin code. 
This is brand new charge controller, so it's gonna use the default password of six zeros. So let's type that password in here. And then it's gonna connect. And here we see the overview of the charge controller. Oh look, it says to change the pin code because you're using the default one. It is recommended to change that to something unique so that other people don't connect to your charge controller and, and manipulate the settings. So let's change that pin code. I'm just gonna do something simple today. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And, oh, I guess you have to have six numbers. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, and don't worry, if you forget your pin code, you can reset that. We'll look at that in just a minute, but uh, you'll always have access to your Victron devices because we can reset that pin code. Here we have the overview of the charge controller. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to battery. Top, top setting is battery voltage. We are using a 48 volt lithium battery today, so it's set to 48 volts. You wanna make sure that voltage matches your battery voltage because Victron sometimes um, selects the wrong voltage. So you wanna make sure that we have selected the right voltage. Um, we're going to make sure that our max charge current is sized for our system, the wires we're using and the limitations on the battery. We're going to here select a battery preset. Victron has a few to choose from, uh, lead acid batteries, AGMs and lithium. We're using lithium today. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to Smart Lithium and select that. For the most part, lithium batteries is a great starting point for programming this charge controller for lithium. Not always are these parameters exactly what your manufacturer recommends. So make sure you contact your manufacturer and see what parameters you want for them. For the battery we're using today, they recommend 56.8 for absorb, that's default, so that's great. Float, they recommend 54, so that's what default is. You're gonna wanna make sure if you're using lithium batteries that you have equalization disabled because we don't equalize lithium batteries. We also don't temperature compensate charging lithium batteries, so you wanna make sure that's disabled. Default for a lithium preset, Victron has it so that the temperature cutoff is five degrees Celsius to prevent the charge controller from trying to charge your lithium batteries when they're cold. That uses the internal temperature. If, if we have an external temperature in a Servo GX, it'll use that temperature. It can be disabled if you don't have temperature or you're, or you're having issues there. We we'll also, we're done with the battery settings. Now we can go to other ones, like there's load output for some charge controllers that have load output. You can use that for dust to dawn, turning on a load when it gets, when it gets dark outside, turning that load off when it gets light outside. We have the relay for other charge controllers that we can use to trigger turning on like a dump load um, when we have excess solar and other kind of fun features like that. Um, and then we have like the display for larger charge controllers. You can have a display. We can set their values to be either Celsius or Fahrenheit. So we can set that to Fahrenheit. And that's pretty much all that we have here.